Over the past couple of days, and really the better part of the last month, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this channel and what I wanted to represent, um, what the channel is, I guess, about, what its purpose is, um, because I'm a big believer in if you're not doing something for a purpose, why are you doing it, you know? Um, so I've been doing a lot of thinking about that type of thing and really just generally this channel's place in the community. Um, because when I started the channel back in December of 2019, the main thing I was thinking was that the wrestling community was so one side or the other, so tribalistic, I guess you could say. You were either so anti-WWE and pro-AW, or you were so pro-WWE and anti-AW. There was seemingly no middle ground then, and now, it's, nothing's really changed, if not, it's gone worse. Um, as a result of recently with, you know, some shots from either company, the, the tribalism in the fan bases hasn't gotten any better. Quite frankly, it's gone a lot worse. Um, and that kind of leads me to the next sort of point with this one, social media. Um, personally speaking, the past few days, I've been, I guess you could say, detoxing um, from social media particularly, mainly just with this wrestling space. Um, personally speaking, I'm still talking to my real life friends and whatnot. But when it comes to the social media space, especially with like wrestling Twitter, for instance, and replying to YouTube comments on the whole... Um, I've been pretty much detoxing with it because recently, especially, maybe it's a byproduct of how much the channel's grown, which for one, thank you guys a ton for that. Um, but maybe it's a big factor of that's just the shots between AW and WWE. Um, it's made the fan base now to a point where I'm just like, I don't, I don't think this is worth, you know, worth investing myself so much in. Because one thing with this channel I've always wanted to do and I've always stuck by with this channel is if you leave a comment on my video or a community post or you reply to me, I feel like it's just, you know, common courtesy to reply back. Um, you took the time out of your day to reply or comment on one of my videos or pieces of content. I feel it's only fair to, you know, return the favor, so to speak, and reply back. But recently it's just, it, it's, it's gotten to a point where I mean, kind of as a fault of my own because I'm, I'm such a, you know, a, a notable Roman Reigns fan and just generally I, I make it known that I enjoy WWE a bit more than I enjoy AEW, but that said, I'm pretty neutral. I'm not in any, in either fan base, I'd, so just, I'd say. I'm just, I try and toe the middle line, but recently it's just been just ridiculous. I mean, it just, God. And it makes me think about... One, as I said, why I started this channel with... Like, I started the channel with the main goal to be neutral with everything. Um, not to jump in one camp or the other and engage in the tribalistic BS that was the wrestling community at that time. And it still is, if not worse. And it got me thinking as to, as well, just generally with the channel, what's the why? You know, um, when I started making and doing videos on the channel, especially the first year and a bit... Um, I was making the channel because I had like a real genuine passion for wrestling. I wanted to, you know, make content about wrestling. I really, really enjoyed the wrestling I was watching for the, as much as you could enjoy it when it was WWE and Thunderdome or AEW and Daily's Place. But uh, I enjoyed, you know, watching the wrestling and making the content. It was like a full, full process with that. Um, but recently this year, especially, I don't know really ever since when, but generally this year it's become more so... I just enjoy making content and wrestling is kind of the catalyst that allows that to be possible. Um, so as a result, I make the content with, I guess, the goal in mind to get the dopamine hits of like views, likes and subs, that, sort, that kind of thing. Um, when in reality, that probably isn't, is not a healthy thing to do. Um, the, the, the channel turned from me having a passion for wrestling, not really caring as much about views and making whatever content I'd want about wrestling because I had a passion for it, like a real genuine passion to just me making content for the sake of it and then getting so involved in this just toxic crap, this toxic noise, which that's a lot of what the wrestling fan base is nowadays. Um, why that's the case, I mean, yeah, we can go long form in that another time. But generally speaking, for me, what I've done the past few days and what I will be doing going forward is taking a pretty big detox with it. Um, I want to see personally what it does for me, mainly mental health wise, because generally I'm doing like re really good. It's just when I invest myself so much in toxic noise on social media 
that I don't think it's great for me. Um, and this is the case here with this. I, I feel like, especially since I've been in a lockdown for two months where I'm at, and that's finally ending now, things are opening up, I'm being more active, I'm enjoying reading a lot more now, which I know that's a bit of a weird, weird thing to mention on a wrestling YouTube channel, but I'm reading a lot more books now, and I feel like, you know, really good doing it, um, doing a lot of studying, I have a full-time job and whatnot. I, I'm feeling like at the moment, I, I don't feel a need or a purpose in investing myself so much in the tribalism and toxic crap that is really wrestling social media, mainly from a wrestling Twitter perspective, that especially, I'm just not going to use Twitter. I um, haven't used it in a day and a half now. I feel great for not doing it. It's just, it's not, it's not a healthy place to be. It's really not. Nothing really, you don't see anything different on there. You know what you're going to get, but you still keep, you know, going in, going in just for those dopamine hits of likes and, you know, comments on your tweets. So in that sense, yeah, I'm canning Twitter. Um, I'm not going to be using Twitter going forward. Um, Inst wrestling Instagram won't be on there. Um, I don't know about the videos on this channel. This is the other thing. Um, I really don't know what the direction of the videos will be. Um, I've had a lot of this year trying to decide what I want this channel to be. Uh, recently I've tried with some of the shorts. Um, I think that's genuinely a really good direction to go. Um, but I, I don't know if this channel where it's at needs me spamming 20 second shorts. Like I know you guys enjoy it and I really appreciate that. Um, I enjoy making them. So I think potentially when I return to making videos a bit more regularly, um, shorts will be a good part of the channel. Um, as well as that, I think just generally, like this year, I spent a lot of time trying to, I guess, find what I want the channel to be. Um, I took a lot of inspiration, particularly earlier in this year, from Alboy, Superkick Studios, and I guess you'd say GIFs, you yeah? know? And just generally making content that was fully edited up, like a full production, each video. Um, and personally speaking, I look back on the videos I made from mainly about, God, March through, Jesus, uh, August? i say, yeah, March through August, I look back at near enough every video I made in that period and go, wow, I'm, I'm proud of myself making those videos, which I guess I want to make them, but at the same time, when you don't really have the big time passion for wrestling, making heavily edited up videos about wrestling, it's just, it doesn't add up. Um, and for me, I don't want to just force myself to keep making that. And I want to make content that you guys really want to see. So I guess that, that leads me to the main kind of general premise of this video. Um, for, the, for the next foreseeable little bit of the future, um, I'm stepping away as far as definitely Twitter. Um, I'm not going on Twitter. Um, as far as the wrestling videos, I don't really know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try and figure out the direction I want for this channel. I'm going to try and come back with a blaze and glory and finish out 2021 with a bang. Um, well, this isn't a, I'm, I'm quitting YouTube, God no, God no. But for me personally, I just need some detox time. Um, I've been spending the better part of the last two years replying to literally every comment I've had on the channel, which I can't believe I've done in hindsight. Um, I'm a bit of a madman for doing that. But yeah, I feel, I feel like something needs to be done as far as this, especially now considering there's this just ridiculous like WWE, AW, the, the people in you know power of both taking shots at each other and toxicity and muck. I feel like now's a good time for it. Um, so hopefully uh, that can die down, but it won't. Um, and yeah, that's all good. A uh, pretty general chit chat type video about the direction of the channel. Um, in summary, I just need to step away from this for a little bit. Um, so yeah, all good. I'll come back and yeah, make sure you subscribe. So when I come back, you'll be uh, first notified when the content comes out. But Generally speaking, yeah, time, time for a bit of step away. Uh, time for a bit of a step away for your boy. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other creators in the community who are just going to make the same type of videos I do, but a bit lower quality because that's just how <laughs> that's just how it works. Just kidding, kidding, but yeah, that's all good. I um, hope you guys enjoyed my little ramble about where I'm at. And yeah, there you go. Enjoy the video, like, comment, sub, or whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, see ya.